I'm Tia, and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig-related content here. We are multicultural. We are inclusive, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you're one of my little doll babies. Hi, doll baby. Oh. How are you? So happy that you're here. My lash is being weird. Oh. In this video, I am doing a review on an oldie but goodie, uh, but I am going to do it a little bit chatty because... Oh. My lash is being so weird. I am going back to work for the first time, not back to work, but back to the office for the first time in 19 months. And so I am filming in the morning like I did forever, hence why my lash isn't dry. And so I thought that I would do this review, but then sort of talk about um, my thoughts about it, things that might change. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna oh, do. I forgot to put my setting spray on. <laughs> Before I get chatting away, Let's, uh, the wig that I'm going to wear today is Janet Collection's June. And I have June in the color Sugar Brown. I love Sugar Brown from Janet Collection. June is part of her extended part lace line. Wait, extended part lace? Shouldn't it be extended lace part? Whatever. Anyway. Swiss lace, extremely deep part lace wig. She's heat safe up to 360 degrees. Comes in quite a, you know, comes in some colors. This is an older wig, it's definitely still available. I got her from Wig Types for $22.94. I have already worn her. I have another review on her. So I got her and decluttered her, got her again, wore her, felt like I wanted to declutter her again, and then I realized why. So now I'm coming back to tell you and maybe fix what my issue is so when you wear wigs like there's a lot of times that I revisit a wig because it's like I didn't like it and then I realize like why I didn't like it this is the Milano wig grip cap and one I'm really really enjoying this I think it's like especially for maybe when you're in a hurry too this is a, a good option there's a couple more that have like sort of lace partings that I want to get so she is a lace front and I already cut her lace because I've already worn her two combs in the front home in the back adjustable straps. I used to get ready and film in the morning so I would film pretty much like one rig review one wig wig one rig review seriously one rig I can't say it one review a day let's just put it that way and so that was also very helpful in getting like my content and then once we came home I would do like multiple in a day like because I wasn't getting ready in the same way and I would just do it on the weekends because we weren't going anywhere the nice thing is is like I miss getting ready I miss like feeling nice and pretty and all that so I look forward to going back to work just to like wear clothes my office isn't very far away during the pandemic I actually got sort of a I got a new position that was basically a promotion and I went from being in a cubicle to having an office but I literally was in my office for three days and that's it so I'm excited because I actually have my own office um but I haven't been able to use it or enjoy it so I'm excited in that way I miss like just having my you know work peeps my work you know relationships some of the people I've kept a relationship with over the 19 months and you know some of them that I thought I was really close with I really haven't so I mean, that's interesting, too. If you want to know more about that, let me know, because I can do, like, a car vlog on that. Okay, so this was the thing I did not like about this wig. I don't like that it's straight, and then it has this. I don't like this shape at all. And that's really what's throwing me about this wig. Since she's heat safe, I'm going to take this InStyler straightening brush. Um, I have a review on her. I will link that. And I'm going to just try to straighten it out a little bit. And I think that would um, help me quite a bit. So I'll do that whilst I'm talking. I also feel like I want to shift her just. So I'm looking forward to that. The other thing is I met my partner. My, I hate to say boyfriend because I'm 44 years old. But I met my partner during the pandemic. So we've been together for I think 17 months now. 16 or 17 months. And so our whole relationship, um, he works from home as well. So our whole relationship really, um, you know, we've been together all the time because during the pandemic, we couldn't go anywhere. So like, I feel like our relationship has accelerated a lot. Um, and I feel like we're closer probably than we would have been because, you know, we really just spent time together. We didn't really have an another option. 
but so it's going to be a change for us because we do have two apartments um so i'm already used to having him gone like sometimes two days a week sometimes he's gone for a week but usually it's two days a week and so yeah it's gonna be different because i'm gonna be gone all day it's not like he can just like sit and ask me a question or like bring me like a little something to eat or refresh my coffee like he did before like we can't do any of those little things and you know just the little things like the expectations in the house of like you know chores and things we'll have to adjust everything about our relationship in that way because i'm not going to be home to just like you know throw the laundry in in between meetings and you know pick up throughout the day I'm not going to be able to do that at all yeah I really love this wig it's sort of a it's a light yakky texture I love the length you know I love a long wig um I just don't like these weird bumpy sort of um side pieces especially because it doesn't go all throughout the wig it's just in the front and it bothered me so much and it's a wig I would love to hang on to because I think it would be amazing for styling um but I just couldn't hang with this. See, it's already much, much better for me. I love this brush because it's, see how easy it is just to, and because it has this like, I think they're ceramic, I'm not sure. You'll have to check in the original review. I'm pretty sure they're ceramic. It's warm, it's definitely hot, but I can do this without burning myself and just get all these hairs together and just sort of get that curl out you know i'd like to hear what you guys think too like are you have you were you sent home for the pandemic um if so when did you go back um how did you feel i want to know all of that so you don't mind like having a light <clears throat> a light little something the other thing is this, like, I was just used to, like, getting up and going straight to work and, like, wearing jammies, which in theory was, like, nice because I could sleep in a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, I gained a little bit of weight um, in an uncomfortable manner. I am now on a, uh, I am on a program and I am starting to lose weight, which is good. Um, I have implants. I have breast implants and I have a whole... I have a car vlog on that. Um, I'm not naturally busty, but when I gain weight, I do gain and lose my chest. So when I gained the weight over top my implants, it is causing me some pretty severe back pain. And uh, it is, it's funny because up until I'd say October of the pandemic, I was actually losing weight keeping the weight off i was so good i was in a great space and yeah like i had a new relationship and we were doing so good i think it was so good for that first part of the pandemic and then i think it was kind of like like is this thing ever gonna end like for reals this is definitely better i think i do, do need to work on it a little bit for my preference but i'm definitely happier with the way it is just taking it down a little bit and so that's the thing like you can take just a small change of a wig like even shifting it a little bit and you know I don't like bangs in my face so I feel like so now we're you know this is for work so do we clip it back let's clip it back let's go ahead and clip it back where's my clip hi Kit Kat you know that's the other part of this I got Kit Kat right as, as we, when we got sent home and the pandemic was starting because I thought it was a great time a to help out because we didn't know what was going on and I wanted to help out sort of where I could in terms of you know shelters were kind of nervous like what were they going to do and if people couldn't you know adopt and all of that kind of stuff so I had lost my cat the year before that I had for 16 years so I thought okay this would be a good time and uh i'll be home and we got a kitten and my son and i were both home so i adopted kit kat so i've been home with her the entire time i've had her so that is making me feel some type of way too because i won't be home with kit kat anymore but i mean you know when my partner is here he will be with kit kat and 
my son gets home, you know, at three. I'm just like, oh, Kit Kat. I could be okay, Kit. Could be okay. Say hi, Kit. We'll say hi, Kitten. Not Kitten anymore. All right. So, yeah. So, this is what she looks like. This is all the hair to the front. Pretty, pretty good density. I already worn her, like, twice, so... She actually doesn't tangle too, too much. Probably in more of that 22 inch range. Okay. Like I said, this is an older wig. I definitely feel a lot better about her. I think I, I still need to maybe add some baby hairs or something, but for work, I think this is great. I love the length, but it is out of my face. I'm glad that I took these curls down just a bit. And the funny thing is, is just taking it down just a little bit has really made me feel much differently. Um, I do think that I'm going to do an upstyle for this. And I had done a bunch of upstyle videos for Tia Treat Week. And I mentioned to someone in there that I wanted to do a couple upstyles on some wigs and then leave them in upstyle so that I could have them ready for work so that, you know, I could just throw them on if I was late. And I think this would be a great one to do an upstyle that's just ready so that I can just throw it on and leave. So if you want me to do that video and show you um, A, the upstyle, and then how I leave it and store it and have it ready for work, I can do that for you. Okay, so that is what I have for you. Um, I don't want to be late <laughs> back to the office on my first day back. So, uh, I should probably go. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. If you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>